いただきます。
Mm. Different from Lee Boss too. Mm. This is really good. Mm. I like it. Setter brings you directly into what's called top orthographic view. This can be done for any axis to snap to its corresponding perspective. However, on and drag to where you want to have centered. From there, the basics on how to interpret lets you know holding at the bottom changing. It tells us that without holding, no feel free to refer to this display at any time Whoa. while watching this series or playing around with Blender to learn more of its features. As a quick reference, here are click and drag any of the boundaries, and they can also be whatever you'd like and to return. I just downloaded this app called Delish Kitchen that my friend told me about. I think it's only available in Japan, but it's really convenient because all the recipes has video. I can't read Japanese, so seeing the video makes it a lot easier. And also I can search by ingredients. So like today I have eggplant and chicken. And it gives me recipes that has these ingredients. I found this one that looks really easy. It's like miso, chicken and eggplant. So I'm gonna try this today. It sounds like I'm advertising for this app, but I'm not. It's just something my friend recommended me that I'm finding really helpful right now. Okay. Do you want do you masa? Do you want that? Sorry? Do you want that? You like that one no? Are you deciding? Yay. Oh, you hear?
I don't know if the sauce is good, hmm? but I think it's okay. So last night I launched a collaboration with Mini Gallery Box and I just want to show you guys quickly now. Mini Gallery Box is like a bi-monthly subscription box and each time they feature a different artist and I'm really humbled that they chose me for this current box. Um, so what I have made with them is three postcards. and a sticker sheet and a travel journal so I'm really into travel journaling and you might have seen that before on my Instagram or if you are part of my Patreon I post my travel journal every month so I'm really excited to be able to design my own travel journal and basically this is just the cover and the inside is blank if you don't want to use it as a travel journal it's basically just a sketchbook or a notebook so yeah if you're interested you can go to mini gallery box we worked pretty hard on this so i i hope that you guys like it
ん。OK。はい。It's like a reusable bag? Yeah. That's good. I think it is. 
It feels like paper, but it, not. But this is paper. I'm pretty sure this is paper. Oh. But kind of hard, like more hardened. See? <laughs> Way more. Oh, that's. Way more. I don't know, it looks like so much. <laughs> yeah, but it's way more. I want to see the cheese ball. Cheese ball. Cheese ball. Cheese ball. Cheese ball. Mmm. Two packages just arrived while I was eating lunch. So I'm gonna show you guys now. I'm pretty sure it's Patreon stuff. So this one is May's Happy Mail sticker. Um, the theme was a forest life. Japan Post still suspending mail to a lot of the countries. So I still can't send mail right now. I'm gonna keep them with me until I can send again. Yeah, May's Happy Mail contained these two stickers and I got them done separately. This is for June's Happy Mail. The theme is a productive pepper and this is the first time I tried making a square postcard. I think it's pretty cute. This is the back. So I made a post earlier this month and I asked my patrons what make them feel productive and I picked the most common and relatable ones and I put them around here. So the point is not that you gotta do all these things in order to be productive because what I took from everyone's answers was that it's the little habits that make us feel motivated. It's not like, you know, today I completed this big project. It's actually more like I woke up on time, I cleaned my room, I journaled and just things like that. And I really liked that. So that's why I put them in here. I finished my third travel journal. It finishes at the end of 2019 and there's a few pages left at the end but um, I really want to start 2012 with a new journal so I just made this one just now. Um, I was recording the making of it for Patreon. It's something you can YouTube how to do really and the reason I make my own is because I like mixing up the paper. It's just a little bit more interesting. And I think this one's gonna be a challenge because it has so many different types and different colors together. But I'm really excited to start on this. Yeah.